Hi guys, I'm back and today it is Monday, the 8th of January, so it's a new week and a fresh new start and I'm starting the day with meeting up with my friend Amelie. She's also self-employed as a consult and I'm gonna help her shoot some content and pictures for her new website that is coming up, which is so, so exciting. Um, the time is around 9, 10 a.m. and I woke up 6.30 a.m. just to do my morning routine so I'm starting off the day by journaling and reading in my book and then I had some water and did a 25 minute workout and then I just got ready and here I am so I'm actually on a hurry again as usual so I will catch up with you guys later It's me again. Um, it's currently 1 p.m. and me and Emily just parted our ways. We shot some content for her website at Wiener Copenhagen and it was so much fun and I'm so happy that she got so much nice content for her exciting website that launches earlier, no, that launches this month. And then we had some lunch at Journal Juice and then we went to Christiansborg. Um, Plus, where we shot the rest of the content and she also helped me shooting some content for my social media and the sun is shining but it's like minus six degrees right now so it's freezing outside but I'm just sitting here and enjoying the sun before I'm heading out for work at a cafe so I just wanted to give you an update on that and show you the rest of my day as a content creator um, yeah, that's it for now, so I will update you guys later. Bye!
Hi guys and welcome back. I hope you're enjoying your day. It's currently 6 p.m. ish and I had a long and super cozy and busy day in the city. So as you seen earlier, I met up with my friend Amelia to shoot some content with her. And then I worked at a cafe and just strolled around the city and the sunset was so, so amazing. I really just took it all in and enjoyed it very much. Um, it's just been such a good and cozy and fulfilling day and I feel very, very grateful for the life that I created. I just got home from a flea market-ish because I'm having, I'm selling some of my stuff there. So I just needed to put some more stuff because I sold a few pieces this weekend. And then I'm gonna make some dinner. Um, I'm gonna make potatoes. I'm gonna cook them. Then I'm gonna fry some salmon and then make some, um, then make a salad. And then we have some tzatziki leftovers from yesterday. So that's gonna be very delicious. Right now I'm home alone, but around 30 minutes my roomie and her friend will come and join me and we will just have a cozy time and then watch a movie together. It's so cozy that uh, we can do it together. Her friend lives just across the street from us, so it's super nice that we can just spend some time together in the evening and just during the day as well. I also just wanted to say thank you so much for all your kind response and support on Instagram lately with me sharing the news and just connecting with me. It's just so surreal that I'm able to do that with people who live around the world. It's just so amazing and one of my favorite things about social media is to meet people and connect with people from around the world that you would probably never be able to meet if it wasn't for social media. So social media in general there's like ups and downs of positive and negative things about it and I definitely need to find the right balance between it because now that it's my full-time job it can be really difficult not to take everything personal when it comes to like performance and like partnerships and engagement and stuff like that so that's something that I really need to learn not to take personally because that's something that I've been dealing with when I was younger when it didn't get like enough likes and engagement and reach. It has nothing to do with me as a person. So that's something that I really need to learn. I'm of course much better at it than I was when I was younger, but now that it's my full-time job, it's definitely something that I need to take more seriously. So it doesn't impact my mental health, but it's just so important when it comes to social media that you take responsibility of what you watch and see. So if someone, or some profile don't bring you good value or good vibes then it's up to you to unfollow and find some people and profiles that bring you joy and excitement and inspiration and motivation at least that's how it is for me so when the new year started or before the new year started i actually unfollowed a few people on profile because they no longer serve the right thing for me i don't know if it makes sense sorry i'm just gonna or the potatoes um, but I think that's it's so important that we sometimes declutter our social media as well as our high house and homes um, yeah that's one of my best tips when it comes to your mental health and your social media presence um, so that's just a little tip from me <laughs> um, I also want to try to be more personal in here on YouTube and on my Instagram because it's something that I really find important and gives me a lot of value and I also really like it about other profiles so I need to get back to, to it because that's something I did when I started actually with my social media sharing more thoughts and feelings and perspectives and just my mindset in general so I don't know if that's something you guys find cozy and interesting but yeah it's just there's so many things that I want to do with my new brand, or not with my new brand, but with my social media presence. I want to 
bring good vibes and value to people's lives. I want to inspire and motivate people to romanticize their life and see things positively and just inspire people to follow their dreams because now it's going to get a little bit personal but when I was younger and especially in high school I was not the person that I am today. Of course that's a good thing because it's good to grow and evolve but I was very insecure and a very pleasing person and my biggest concern were other people's thoughts and feelings so I always uh, let others people let other people's opinions and feelings uh, first before my own and I just wasn't my authentic self so I didn't go after my dreams and I didn't speak up and I didn't tell people how I felt and I didn't go to a lot of parties because I was afraid of not fit in and I wasn't like myself I wasn't like able to share my mindset and feelings and dreams because I was too afraid but it definitely was a hard period of time of my life but I'm so grateful that I've grown as a person and that I'm feeling more my authentic self today um, but it took me a lot of time a lot of hard work a lot of uh, insecurities and a lot of growth to get where I am today and also a lot of chances that's the, my first thing if I like that's my first tip if I, if I look back is to take more chances and just try it out and it's not that terrifying when you just do it so that's something that I really learned it's okay to make mistakes it's okay to take chances and that's how you learn and grow and f and find yourself um, yeah so that's something that I really try to prioritize now because I'm still not 100% complete. I don't think I will ever be, but you know, you get the point. Thank you. 